think the difficult thing about preparing yourself in the start line is being able to push as much as you can from the start without making mistakes. It's quite daunting in that respect and especially if the conditions aren't how you like them, say there's fog or really bad rain, you sort of have to force yourself to get over that fear so you can perform at your best. It's always like a compromise between trying to be as fast as you can on the stage and also being consistent because it's very easy to go too fast and crash so you just need to be careful and not go over the top because at the end of the day you're trying to win the rally, not just win every stage. Whenever you have no mistakes in an event, you just build your confidence up and up until the point where you're on the limit and when you're there you kind of know you don't want to push too much more or you will make a mistake. It's draining in a lot of different ways because it's very physical and it's also mentally draining as well. Focusing for that length of time in really high temperatures inside the car and you're sweating quite a lot so you need to be physically fit. But yeah, when you get to the end of stage you can either feel relieved or you can be really pumped up and full of energy but it just kind of depends on how the stage went and whenever it's going well it's pretty effortless and the best rallies I've done is when everything just comes together and it takes very little effort at all. Yes, you're not going to get injured in Dirt Rally 2.0 because the risks aren't the same but you still need to have the same approach as real life and be consistent to get a really good result through all the stages. And also with tyre wear and surface degradation, you're up against new challenges, so it's going to be even more difficult than ever before.